Ross, it is the best time to be talking about air filtration. Tough year for, for good air. Yes, it is. We've got the wildfires out west. Not good there with all the smoke, right? Some of the worst air quality in history, right? Yeah. In California and Portland. Um, and then we've got coronavirus, right. COVID-19. You know? So a lot of reasons for a lot of people to be thinking about filtering the air in their house. That's right. And we're also fortunate that a lot of people use an HVAC system for heating and cooling. So they're actually mm -hmm. already moving air. That's right. And they're already filtering air. That's right. Question is, what are they filtering with and can we do any better? Yeah. So here's the typical MERV, uh, MERV 1 rating. So, so let's just talk about MERV. MERV is the system that we use to rank filtration. Yeah. So MERV is a rating scale from 1 to 16. One is the lowest level of filtration, 16 being the highest on that scale. Higher the number goes, the better off we get. That's right. So MERV, this is a MERV 1. MERV 1s are good for, you know, maybe uh, cat or dog hair, or maybe it's some dust. Yeah. See right through it. Yeah, it's not going to do much for you. Okay. So, but this is actually pretty typical that you see in, in a lot of houses, gotcha. right? So um, not that great, right? And you work, work your way up from there to MERV 4s and 8s, you know, but then where it really gets interesting is MERV 13s. What happens at 13? So at 13, you're actually going to get the really small particulates. All right, so if you think about it, the, you know, particulates come in different sizes. Yeah. From 0.3 micron to 1 micron is the really small stuff. And with that, we're talking about 1 50th the size of the human hair. So, so 1 micron is 1 50th the size of a human hair. Or smaller. Gotcha, yeah. okay. So hang on a second. Um, before we get to 13, Okay. Yep. Am I doing anything for COVID? Like one through 12, am I getting what I need to get to know that I'm safe? You're not going to get a great level of filtration because the t more of 12 or smaller is not going to get those fine particulates. It's going to get the medium size and the larger size. So right? I need so to be into 13 or more. You need to be 13 or higher to really get smoke and to really get the aerosols that we breathe out, which is what the virus basically, you know, hitches a ride with Perfect. to transmit. So what does a, what does a 13 look like? Is this a 13? So this is a MERV 13. This is a MERV 13. 20 by 20 it's a two inch thick filter so 20 inches wide 20 inches long and then two inches that pleat size that's right and they come in one inch they come in four inch right so here's an example of a four inch version Ooh -wee. okay beautiful All 20 right. by 25 but four inches thick okay? so if 13 is my number i'm going yep. home right now thank you for buying me this <laughs> and i'm taking my probably a six or eight out of my system and i'm putting this in and i'm good to go not so fast why not? So with this, you're going to increase the resistance of the air going across it. So you think about the higher levels of filtration, the more pressure drop you have to, the more resistance you have to get and overcome. I don't care. I don't care if my fan slows down because I'm trying to save my family. Yeah, no. So it's not a good idea. So if you put too restrictive a filter on, you're either going to freeze up your coil or you could seize the motor in that system. So you really want to have an HVAC technician take a look at it before you actually go retrofit all your systems and upgrade them to MERV so, 13 or higher. So I do care. You do care. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. Yeah. So in an ideal world, everybody would have that MERV 13 or higher, right? So you just got to uh, take a look at that. So is there any workaround to something like this? I mean, is there any way that I can reduce the resistance to the airflow? Right. So if we go from a two inch pleated filter that we have here to a four inch pleated filter, like the right? big boy you pulled out? So like this guy, right? So you have twice the thickness, which means that you have twice the surface area. So these pleats are twice, the, there's twice the amount of surface area in this filter than there is in that filter. If I were to unfold this and unfold that, that would be bigger. That's right. More surface area means less, less resistance. resistance. That's right. So maybe I could go to a 13 with my existing motor and system if I picked a, a properly sized MERV 13. Right. So it could be a four inch or could even be a five inch deep filter like this yeah. that gets slid into a filter box. So you have to have the space to be able to accommodate this. But if you could, then you could actually upgrade your system. And if I no. don't have the space, then I'm back to the same old problem, which is I'm, I can't go to 13 right. without maybe risking damaging my motor. That's right. Yeah. So what, your next best solution after that is potentially a, a home air purifier or air cleaner. Buying one off the buying off one offline. Yep. Or we have one here that we're going to actually assemble. Okay. Like we're going to make our own. We're going to make our own. All right. So this is this is called the uh, Comparato Cube. It's using four of these filters do, do, uh, with a box fan, all for less than 100 bucks. Do we know Comparado? Or yeah. We, yeah. yeah. So his name's Neil. He's out of Virginia. And he took the, the typical design was this. Take a two-inch MERV 13 filter, put it on a box fan like that. Turn it on. Turn it on, right? And let it, let it do its thing. That's brilliant. Right? And then you get MERV 13 filtration. But he came up with the idea of taking this and adding four filters. By doing that, you're going to increase 
the surface area, which means you decrease the pressure drop, means we move more airflow. Oh, to all right. Well, let's build it. You show me how to build it. Okay. What do we do? So we start off with the cardboard here in the bottom, yep. and we're going to stack these two-inch filters like this with the airflow arrow pointing in. In. Okay. There's yep. another one in there. So in there. How do you want this guy? There. Yep. There. Yep. And last one, you want it to come to that? That's right. All right. Yep, just like that. And I'm going to get some duct tape. Really? Hey, duct tape right here. Of course there's duct tape involved. Hey, this is DIY right here. This is, this is great, This though. is definitely what people are going to be doing in this apocalyptic year. <laughs> All right. Now, this is great. So the bottom cardboard is there, so we're not blocking any of the filters. That's right. Do we get to duct tape this down, too? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> it's portable. It's portable. Give me a sense of how much air we are moving with this homemade cube filter here. So uh, this one is, this is a three-speed fan. So we're going to be moving somewhere up around 900 CFM on high speed. 900 so, cubic feet per minute that's on right. high speed. That's right. And yep. um, can you give me a sense as to how much cubic feet is in a, I don't know, a 2,500 square foot house roughly? Or yeah, how? so a 2,500 square foot house, eight foot ceilings, you're talking about, you know, uh, maybe 20,000 cubic feet of volume. And you said and, we're moving yeah. about 900? 900 or so. Yeah, so we're going to get about almost uh, one air change in that house um, every, um, every 20 minutes, three air changes an hour. Wow, yeah. that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Oh, the thing is, though, this is localized, right? And it's not ducted. So it's going to work for localized air cleaning wherever it is. If you're in the kitchen or living room where it's located, that's great. If you go to bed at night, you could take it with you. But um, That's yeah. not a bad thing. Yeah, it's great. Turn it on. All right, turn it on. So we have got airflow this way. So coming in through four filters and coming out through the fan perfectly clean, nice which clean. means clean enough that we're taking the smoke out of the air yep. and coronavirus. That's the great thing about MERV 13 filters. They get the small stuff and the big stuff. <sighs> this thing is awesome. Love it. Now keep in mind, like any filter, it's going to load up, right? So this can get surface loading, which is going to increase that resistance. So you're going to have to replace these filters every once in a while. On this system, it's going to be about six months. Good enough for me. Terrific, Ross. Thank you. What a great idea. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.